Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry if you can hear the heater. <laughs> heater in the background. What's hard? Dick not. What? Apparently, there's a rebellion here in Jorvik. Who's the head of Jorvik? This kid? Oh, my God. He's fighting tons of people. <laughs> Sucks to be a kid. At least a kid king. Looks like the um, Anadalusians have kind of stopped, or at least not stopped, but checked ever so slightly the Catholic influx of people. Most interesting. How big is their, um, I don't know who their head of state is. Head of state is King Silo. You put your grain in him. He's got a little over 15,000 troops. Italy's got some rebellions going on. How's the Holy Roman Empire doing? They're doing well. They have almost 14,000 troops. And let's worry about our neighbors to the south, the Byzantines. Uh oh, they have a new leader. Chancellor, kiss up to that guy. I guess their dad died. He's got 26,000 troops. Oh my god, the Byzantines are always dangerous. We're going to move our retinue to the north. We're going to have them join up here in Brno. As we have our holy warriors here come up on the right flank. Um, an army made up of some of our vassals come up on the left flank because we're going to try and end this war against these rebels. And uh, this guy here, I did that right before I started recording. Um, I took away... If you remember last time I took over... Can I close that? I took over Severn uh, from the Bulgarians. Well, they have a guy here in charge of their... I don't want that to be the county capital. Uh, in charge of their temple here, and he was Orthodox Christian. And we want to have a Tangri Shaman in that region. There we go. Jerolim! He's like, I Jerolim all night long so I can keep it smokety smoke. Alright. Whatever makes you happy, bro. Because we want him to convert people to Tangri in this region. Because right now, as you can see, they're Orthodox Christians. My prisoner, Svati Papats, is complaining about a dark cell to the Oubliette. That's the, that's the policy with Horse Baby Boy. You complain about your prison cell, you go to the Oubliette till you die. They throw you in the deepest, darkest part of the dungeon. We feed you once a week, if we remember. But if you're thirsty, you can drink your own pee, because I hear that is um, sterile, unless you have an infection. So, you got that going for you. I kind of want to retake these from the rebels, but I'm not. You know, maybe we will. Oh, fuck it. We're going to have. What is this territory? Boleslav. There's a river from Opel to there. Oh, so we could just have both armies attack at once. When we'll get there on the 4th, and the Holy Warriors will get there on the 7th. Most interesting. I don't really care if any of the troops die there, because they're armies of either our vassals or, or the Holy Warriors. Not that I want the Holy Warriors to die, per se, but I care much, much more about my personal troops than guys that uh, work for me. Man, these Holy Warriors here with the horses, they have been so badass. Oh, and the Rebels were winning with a 73% war score. Let's see how it changes with the attackers at the top. Both the Holy Warriors and our vassals are in there now. I have a feeling we're probably going to crush them. Prepare to get crushed. And then we have a whole other invading force in the northeast. Well, kind of north. Our northeast. Yeah, north. Sorry. I'm just saying because our northeast is technically like up here. And there's people fighting there too. I don't even know what that's about. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend I never saw that. Oh. Well, See that right there, that war score. 73% for the rebels. Victory! Um, we're going to send these troops to the north. Holy warriors and vassals, you move to the north. Retinue, we're going to send you to cut these guys off. In fact, we're going to merge you two. That way we will catch the rebels as they try and run back here to where I think the rebellion started from. Wait, they're going to get out of there on the 10th. Oh, we'll be there well before they get out. Come on, retinue. Go there and teach these bastards a lesson. 
putting down rebellions left and right, I swear. Totally uncivilized. Victory. How old is a horse baby boy getting? He's 57. He will not be around forever. And, because we killed all of the rebel army, we can enforce demands. Boom! We arrested their leader. The liberation of Great Moravia has ended. They failed! Emperor Horse Baby Boy of Carpathia has won. And you're welcome, High Chief Balls to the Walls of the Cruel, because I have returned your county to you. Now we just have to worry about that giant army of invaders there, Ivar's host. Actually, we're going to move everybody into... Nope, nope, not there. Right there. There's a raider army here. The raiders of Enar, they're trying to raid Brandenburg, but they do not have enough guys. They can't get through the defenses there. All my guys can go hide in the castle. Are there any dangerous factions? Nope. The independence faction is down to 18%. You better watch out. Who's this? High Chief Gerlert of Rama? Oh, regular chief. That Arpad family. They have been nothing but problems for us. It's probably some good Arpads. They're like, not me. I've been a good one. Shut up. Oh, they're going to come and attack us. Interesting. So Ivar, of Ivar's host, though we outnumber him and we have the power of holy warriors, he thinks he can come and attack us and destroy us. So we shall sit and wait. We will have the advantage of defense, and we will crush them, and the advantage of um, the goose. See, you know he's really angry because he's looking for love. He wants to get married, looking for love in all the wrong places. You don't, you don't find love in Prussia by attacking it. Prepare to get your asses wiped. I mean, kicked. Yo, the first one I regret ever having said. <laughs> uh, we are on the bottom here, as you can see, because we have the candy... Cane flag for some reason for our country. I should say empire. That's not our family crest, but the empire crest. Come on, let's break that left flank. Ivar, you're going to regret it because you're going to our prison and I'm not going to let you out. So you're not going to get to lead any more attacks like this. And then I would love to say there will be peace, but you know how our kingdom is. My liege, I've collected a tithe in Sofia. The money should reach you together with this letter. Oh my god, who did that? Tomislav? Our uh, steward? He got us 86 gold pieces. Hell yeah, man. Helping us save up for that city we want to buy. I built that city on rock and gold. Oh, center broke. The flanks broke. Ivar, I am going to send you to hell. You can invade there. 19% war score in our favor. Does he still have troops left somewhere? He does not. Oh, there we go. 100%. We crushed it. We will demand peace. We caught him on the field of battle, I assume. Ivor's conquest of Prussia has ended. That is the second guy who tried to take over Prussia and failed. Um, Emperor Horus, baby boy of Carpathia, has won. Excellent. We're going to tell these guys to go home. Thank you, holy warriors. Thank you, vassals. We're still rebuilding our personal levies. Retinue, let's have you do something naughty. Oh, that guy's got a big army. It's got to be somebody easy to pick on. You know what? We're going to get rid of these raiders, first of all. I want these raiders out of my territory. The guys in the north are always rebelling because we never protect them from raiders. <laughs> so for once, we're going to be like, here, we're a good emperor. Your taxes go to something. Uh, we could claim the Khanate? Wait, wait. Where is the Connate? Oh, man. We could claim all of that for the Empire? I know they're our ally and all, but we could claim all of that for the Empire. Is that right? He has a ton of allies, though. But his allies are all of the same dynasty as us. They're all my people. Do we dare do that? Try and claim our sacred lands? We're going to do that. Once upon a time, 
Um, one of the Dictopolis people owned that area. Not all of it, but we put that guy in charge, and we're going to reclaim that. Oh, wait, no. It's just those. Oh, in that case, are you sure? Yeah, well, I'm not going to do that then. He's a decent ally who never shows up. <laughs> so that doesn't make him a decent ally. We'll get rid of these rebels. Or, I'm sorry, raiders in the north. The good thing about this, too, is it gives us a chance to try and build up our finances. Hey, raiders, get the hell out of my territory! Uh, we did have to cross the river, unfortunately, to do that, but that's alright. Boom! Victory! See? Oh, wait, who are these? More raiders? Where are you raiders from? Up in Scotland? Come on, Scots, be cool, bro! Let's just share a haggis! Play some hacky sack. That's how you roll, right? What we really need to do, what I want to do, I don't know if it'll work, is create some bigger powers up here, like dukes and stuff, so... What do you own, little girl? You own that place. Who's your liege? Oh man, he's got a good-sized army. I don't think we want to fight him. What about this guy? This little kid. He's got about 2,000 troops. Oh, fuck it. We're going to go for it. Hey, kid. Um, happy birthday. Uh, you won a war. We're going to go uh, claim your capital. And then we're going to put the retinue in. Oh, we can call in our allies. Let us try to. Hey, Khan Eberhard. I didn't declare war against you. Why don't you join me in my war? And you, Shaman St. Pete. And you, guy who's rebelling against someone. I don't even know who you are. We'll leave our Skylord friends alone. Because they were just fighting us, or fighting with us with their um, holy order just a little while ago. Where do you think you're going, army of the Shaman? We might be able to raise some um, troops down here. How many troops you got? 415. Yeah, how many troops can we get going? Holy shit, that guy had a ton of them. Alright, let us merge them all here in Opole. To the old infidel horse, baby boy! Your character is the subject of Greek plays! I will not join your war! Fine. Go be a dipshit, then. Asshole. You're a shitty ally. I don't even know how you're my ally, but... Oh, we're fighting a war against the rebels here. Or I should say a battle. And we won it! Hell yeah! They're gonna be there on October 20th. I don't want to attack across the river. We're gonna actually let these guys get out of here before we go to siege their capital. Oh, I can't see! My dear half-brother, peace be with you! Of course I'll honor my call! Where are you from? What the hell? Did we marry you into a place there? Wait, so there's a Tangri Shaman who is related to us, who is our half-brother, who is here in England. He got a job there. Okay. Um, to the Bulgarian spider horse, baby boy. May your years be short and miserable. We cannot unfortunately join you at this time. Khan! Khan Eberhard, I should have attacked you. I will not forget this offense. How dare you offend me so. Can you believe him? Not wanting to help us in our wars of conquest. What a little douche nugget McGee. Uh, once we get our um, retinue here in Stetson, I think we'll probably just siege it. Oh, that's great! The rebels here are fighting raiders. In fact, you know what we're going to do? We're going to split our retinue in half. We will have one half of it stay here to siege, while the other one goes to take Stetton. That is awesome sauce! Yeah, raiders, fight these rebels! And I don't know who these guys are. 
I should probably find out. Why are they... Oh, somebody's got allies. You've got 2,400... Or 2,400 guys, you got 2,400? We'll keep an eye on you. Oh, they're going to try and join up with those dudes. So we better send our troops into the fight. Merge these guys and send them up into the fight. Wait a second. When are you going to get there? In fact, you know what? You guys wait right here. We'll wait till the rest of the retinue gets hooked up. Alright, we'll merge these guys. I'm guessing they're laying Sisha there. When do you get there, dude? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I made a mistake. <laughs> We almost went in piecemeal. We do not want to do that. Do we have the giant battle with them or just sit and play defense? I guess we'll do the giant battle. So we'll be there on the 18th of December. How long would it take to get these guys there? They get there first. We don't want that. We want them to get there a the day later. I'll... Okay, that'll be perfect. My wife... Old crotchety McCrotch Pants has complained about me being absent so often. And so when I found that I have some extra gold, gold to spend, I decided to buy her something nice. Maybe some jewelry. Well, are you cheap? No? Alright, so you can buy her a bracelet that would show the color on her eyes. A cameo of myself. Ruby earrings. Or just keep the gold. <laughs> I think he's going to be nice. I think he'd get a bracelet that matches her eyes. Because that's romantic, right? She's going to be like, Oh, I love the bracelet you got me. Yeah, but it's black. Like your dark, soulless eyes. What? <laughs> Alright. Our retinue is up attacking them. So are um, the vassal troops we brought up. Uh, the ally who's helping Stetton here has probably made a mistake. We just crushed their flank like nothing. My prisoner, Ivar, to the Oubliette. Happy uh, New Year. January 1st, 1051. To the Oubliette with you. You can kiss the rats to celebrate the New Year's. It's like, oh man, I hate kissing rats. <laughs> Suck it. Come on, we just got to crush the center there. We can probably lower the speed just a little bit. Oh, we crushed the left flank. Man, we are just decimating this army. Victory! We're already at 64% more score. Fur has nothing to do with it. We will send the vassals to siege there. The retinue to siege there. That poor little kid. He never stood a chance. He was smart to call him his allies, though. Come on, let's get that money saved up, too. So I want to build me a city. A city for titties. Titty City USA. <laughs> Horse Baby Boy is not going to be around forever. At some point, we're going to have to start considering um, what will happen when he dies and Studleyson takes over. We won another battle. 72% war score. It will take a bit to siege that down. We might have these guys chase down that army. Oh no, we caught up with them. Victory again! In fact, we will send them into Brandenburg to attack these bastard sins. How dare you stand up to me! Oh, I think they're trying to run away, actually. Oh, but we caught them! You're going to get a royal spanking. Victory again. 75% worse score. Where are they going? All right. As long as we can catch them. That's the important thing. He's stabbing with a stabby thing. That's how you know I'm a good uh, commander. I'm like, use the stabby and stab him with the stabby thing. They're like, spear? Lance? Sure, why not? <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> um, I think they're going to... 
Wait, where were they going? Lower Silesia, we will try and get there right behind them. Let's appoint a new commander. Morik. With this big of an empire, I don't know half the people we give jobs to. Oh, fucking raiders in the north. What a pain in the ass. They don't have enough troops to raid that area, though. Oh, you're not going to escape. We're about to get you again. Man, our retinue, or not our retinue, our vassal troops. Who is leading it? I guess it's this guy, High Chief Bernadine. My prisoner! It's a little kid? A little kid's like, I don't like the cell. It sucks. You're an Arpad, though. And Arpads are a pain, but you are a kid at 14, so I'm going to let you out. Okay, I'm going to put you under house arrest, and actually, I'm going to release you from prison, girl. You can go free. She's like, yay! Not being in prison is awesome! Yeah, I know. And that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode, we will continue our war against Stetson. Might fight some other little wars up here if we can. It's taking us a long time to be in that situation. I want to form some, like, trade republics up here, or little, like, chiefdoms, high chiefdoms, duchies. Try and keep these raiders off our butts. Well, everybody, thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.